What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are with Brayden and we're in his E46 M3. He's taking out the art. He's putting in resonators for the exhaust and he got a new muffler. Uh, so it's gonna be a fun day. So with that, let's get to it. And you want to explain uh, the exhaust and everything? All right, so last night we installed the top speed muffler, which I thought was going to sound all right with just the muffler, but uh, it actually sounded very well. It sounds very good. I like, wasn't expecting just the muffler to sound okay. Uh, but the resonators, the reason we're installing that is because it gets rid of the rasp. The raspy tone of these cars, which is like very infamous, these cars are known for having a rasp. So that's going to remove the rasp, make it a more deeper sounding car, which I really want. I like deep sounding tones. And in a month from now, we're getting the headers. I got Megan Racing headers as well. It's gonna make the car have a lot overall louder and more all-rounded sound. And as long with the tune, I'm getting a, a build journal of B-Spec tune. I'm just gonna make it have pop-pops, shoot flames, and have a overall, it's gonna have a CSL tune, which is gonna be very awesome as well. And that's what's gonna be, that's the build for this car right now, but we're 25% way there. Today's gonna be halfway there. Then header 75 with the tune. That'll be the full build of this car. Then I'll be done. And I'm gonna add some little, uh, it's like uh, I'm gonna add a, a ram air scoop in the engine bay, which is gonna give it more air. Uh, overall, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with this car. So I'm very excited, guys. Let's let's see what it's gonna be. Alright Brandon, what are we doing with the uh, with the car right now? So right now we're at the exhaust shop, the car is on the lift right now, he's installing the uh, resonator on the car, so that's after the the first cast, there's a secondary cat with a straight pipe, and he's cutting out that second pipe and installing the resonator right now, so it's going to be resonator, cat, and then down the line there's another resonator, so I'll have two resonators, and then when I get the new headers, it's going to install, delete both of the other cats, so we're going to have headers, cat, resonator, another resonator. Pretty much what that does is it eliminates the raspy sound of the car, so it's going to sound a lot more deeper than like an actual M car, which is what I want. So, we'll see how that goes. If we like it, we don't like it. We'll see. Alright, so the car's done. Brandon, fire it up. Let's hear it. Deeper. Deeper? Yeah. Really? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So a big shout out to Extreme Mufflers. They did an amazing job. Super nice. Amazing place to go. So if you guys need exhaust work, these are the guys to come to. Alright, first pull. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, it sounds way more refined. Oh. It kind of sounds like my S65, uh, my M3 when I had it, but like so way higher pitch. So fine, dude. Ooh. You like You're it? You're telling me, no, no, I just hold that shit. What? <laughs> this is awesome. Different. I like it more. Honestly. Oh no! Oh, it's a purple! Uh, it is a purple. Whoa, 291 a gallon? Fuck. Bro, we're not in Bellevue anymore, boys. We ain't in Bellevue no more, boys. No, it sounds really good. It makes it way more refined. Like, it's, it's, the car 
car sounds less obnoxious and it sounds more almost like a M if this car had an M Sport exhaust, I think this is what it would sound like. And it's just deep and it's not as deep as it was before, but it sounds it's not as it doesn't drown as much like you were saying. That's honestly that was a god. If we're gonna road trip this car, that was gonna be a big if, but now it sounds exactly what I wanted to sound. Was it a great success? Great success! <laughs> <laughs> See, now it sounds like a real exhaust. Before it sounded like I just had a muffler. Now Which you did. Huh? Which you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now it sounds like a, an actual exhaust. Like a proper exhaust. Yeah, that sounds really good. Not too obnoxious, but that's what I was going for. I don't want it to be like the obnoxious loud M3 that pulls up, but it sounds kind of like whatever. Now it sounds like unique because it's just not as raspy as it used to be, so it has more of the deep tones and it's actually drivable and not droney in sixth gear, which I like. So before yeah. it was like really bassy, but now it's more tone tame. Yeah, 100%. I like it a lot. Great success! <laughs> So these taillights are OEM, uh, M, uh, not M3, they're OEM 330 taillights, but for some reason my left taillight, when it was raining a lot in Seattle, uh, I think there was a leak or a crack in the seal, so a lot of water went to my taillight. So now if I'm cornering hard, or even if I'm cornering because someone's behind me, you'll see the water literally slosh around in my taillights. So I was wondering, what do you guys think if I should do the clears, put the clears back on, or just remove the taillight and like fix the seal? Because the water damaged some of the bulbs, so now I have some of the LEDs and the taillights that went bad. So I don't know what you guys think. So, Braden, honestly, I think the fix to that is keep the amber taillights yeah. and just drain your blinker fluid. Drain your blinker fluid? Yeah, because I think that would be good. It's a good idea. Uh, if you drain it and then fill it right back up to the top, yeah, yeah. then it should go away. Okay. But the fluid is kind of low right now, so I mean... Yeah, 100% though. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm just waiting for Braden to pick me up from the side of the road, and this thing sounds so good. Like, it's not too loud, but it's like, has a really good tone, uh, but it sounds super, super, super good. And, yeah, so with that, let's hop back in the car, um, and yeah. Ooh. That sounds hella good. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ, what have I done? <laughs> this appears having the time of his life right now. <laughs> Alright, guys, so just from hearing that one flyby or his five flybys that he made. That resonator, oh my god, I'm so happy we did that because it sounds so, like, you can make that car sound normal, like there's no drone in sixth gear, fifth gear, but once you freaking put the resonator on, it takes, it makes it to a whole different level. People who have these cars, you gotta put the AR20 resonator on this car because it sounds so, so good. All right, that's it for today's video. Big shout out to Braden for 
bringing out the M3 today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and with that, I'll see you all in the next video.